Well, hello. Uh, <laughs> this is another, I mean, this is why this channel is called Try Everything because I'm like trying things and then giving you advice about it. This has nothing to do with Disney at all. I mean, there's a big mountain, so maybe we could compare it to the Matterhorn, but other than that, I got nothing. But I still want to give you advice because it was things that I wish I had known when I traveled to this location. So hopefully it helps you. It made me think of pirates. I wonder if you can think what place it was. I went to Seattle. So, and I say it makes me think of pirates because it's like got a shipping area and there's, it's not really a beach town, but it has aspects of a beach town at the bottom, but there's like the beach that we saw was pretty much rocks and it was not very big, maybe like 20 feet. So let's talk about Seattle and please like, and subscribe. I'll try and give you more tips and tricks as I travel around and I'm trying to angle this so it's not, but I'm just an old blind lady. So I have to get it just right. Okay. So we went to Seattle a couple of weeks ago and it's September now, so it was like the last week of August. And we went to a Metallica concert, which was flippin' awesome. We are a heavy metal family. The best thing I can tell you is it might cost a little bit more money, but staying central to where you're going is helpful. So we stayed in Seattle. We stayed at the Hotel Sorrento. It was a super nice place. Um, I appreciate it because Seattle is, it makes me think of New York just because it's older and they had um, two portable air conditioners in the room for us because it was, it was hot. <laughs> it was really hot and it's obviously not got AC going throughout it. I was grateful they had an elevator. Like that's kind of the vibe that I get. It's just an older place. Windows, we could hear pretty much a lot of the things outside, but I mean, we were on the fifth floor, so it wasn't too bad. They do have a restaurant downstairs, and I think people just kind of stayed out really late, especially the night of the Metallica concert. They were just out there, you know, having some drinks, but they were up really late, and they were really loud. <laughs> anyway, so if I went again, I would probably stay at the Best Western because it's closer to the ocean. So here's the thing that I was very surprised about Seattle is it gives me San Francisco vibes as well because it is so hilly and steep hills. And as someone that's had a total hip replacement and needs the other side done, I was struggling on these hills. It was hard to get down and up. Oh, and I just found out I need a knee replacement. <laughs> Super fun. Um, so yeah, I would just say try, if you're wanting to like check out that little beach strip like down towards the bottom by the ocean or like do a harbor tour or something like that. I do think it's worth it to be in a hotel closer to the beach, closer to the ocean. I shouldn't say beach, closer to the ocean because there's not really a beach, <laughs> but closer down there so you're not dealing with the up and down hills. If you can handle the hills, go for it. We did it the first day and we were we were in trouble. It, they were, it was hills, like miles of hills going up and down. And it was like, oh no, what have we done? So realize that if you do park higher up in Seattle, you will be walking through the hills or you can pay for parking. Parking comes at a premium. It is expensive and you can park at your hotel. There's always going to be parking that you're going to have to pay for. Our hotel had valet parking. It was $50. We tried to park across the street and it was literally just across the street they had like a public parking area that you could pay for and that was like thirty dollars so maybe 25. um a couple other places that we found to park closer down towards the bottom was what let me see if i can read my notes i think it's called first yeah first and columbia garage it wasn't great it had low ceilings it was a little sketch with our rental because our rental was a uh, SUV and it was a little scary. Um, we actually ended up using that for a day and then another day we parked at the one across the street from it and it was about $40 and then the Columbia garage was $30. I feel like the one across the street had more parking availability. They had people in there helping you park instead of you just like hoping to find parking. First in Columbia was the designated parking garage for a couple of hotels so it was really kind of like are we going to get parking? We already paid for it kind of a thing because you go in and you pay for it and then you go and try and find a parking spot. 
but it was lower down. It was easier for us to get to all the things that were lower down because Seattle downtown is closer to the ocean. So that's what we were trying to do. Um, yeah, let's talk about the things that we did on this trip. So the little beach mall strip area was super cool, loved it. It had a Harley Davidson store. Um, it had a like curious store that had like a mummy in it and like a two headed pig. Like it was just crazy. Had really weird things in it. I bought a ring from there, like a little heart ring. It was super cute. Um, it has a huge Ferris wheel that was like 40 bucks to go per person to go on that Ferris wheel. We did not do that. But the thing that was the most entertaining, in my opinion, in that cute little beach strip was this place called the Wing Dome where you can do a seven alarm challenge. We did not do the challenge. The challenge is you have to eat, I think it's seven wings. Maybe it's more than that dipped in their famous sauce and it's like one of the I guess it's the hottest sauce in the U.S. <laughs> I can barely handle a Cinnabar so my son was being grumpy and so we we're like well we'll try the sauce so they give you like a little cup of the sauce and a piece of celery stick and so my husband's like I'll try it so he takes a bite and he like contains himself for maybe 15 seconds and then I was like I can handle it no you can't handle it so I take a bite and I lost my freaking mind it was so hot it had like ghost pepper and some certain type of jalapeno like it was so bad my son got a little bit on his lip and it burned his skin like it made me look like I had um like lip injections because my lips were so swollen I took one bite of this sauce on a celery stick it was so bad and it didn't go away it did not stop burning for a while like an hour we were still they gave us milk they like everything we could handle it did it nothing helped so it was hilarious so I, I feel like it's worth that there was a guy on the next table trying to do the challenge the challenge is you have to eat seven and then like keep it down and then they'll give you a t-shirt and like one out of 25 people are able to do it and it's I don't I had one bite and I almost died so I can't imagine eating actually something but it didn't, he, the guy that gave it to us said it will stop completely in like five to six hours. It's like, it's something like 3 million on the spice level. And I'm like, I need my Cinnabars. I can handle a Cinnabar. So that was super fun. We did a Harbor boat tour, which was super fun. Um, it was like $145 for the four of us, but you like do, they have different levels. That was the cheapest one, but you get in the little cruise boat and it has, you can get snacks and stuff, but we just sat on the rooftop and just, they just kind of take you around the harbor and talk about the history and Mount Rainier. Like, honestly, Mount Rainier is like the craziest thing to behold. Cause it was hot, like eighties, high eighties. It was warm. And then you look in the distance and three months out of the year, you can see this massive volcano. And the rest of the time you can't because it's like its own weather system and there's glaciers on it and it's just icy and snowy all year long. Like it was just crazy to behold. And there were times that we would drive on the highway and all of a sudden there's this massive volcano that's just like all encompassing. So cool. Would I ever climb it? No. Would I visit it? Sure. But super cool to look at. Um, we did the underground city tour. That was about $75 for the four of us. That was also cool because I guess Seattle, a block of it burned to the ground and they decided when they started building it back up that they wanted to raise it two stories to help with the constant flooding and to help with the sewage system. So because of that, there's like underground shops and they had like stairs and ladders that would go down to them and it just became a thing. So it was a really neat tour and they put in, um, what are they called? Like little skylight glass things. So as we're down there, people are walking over us. It was just so neat. I thought that was cool. Um, places to eat. We ate at Pizza by the Slice. That was across the street from the Underground City Tour. We bought a pizza for $25. That was probably the cheapest meal we had the whole time. Seattle, it's a premium. I think we spent 60 bucks for the four of us at Chick-fil-A. Same things we could get in Utah for 30 bucks. So I was just like, oh. Um, let me see. Uh, we also drove out of Seattle and went to the, I'm going to butcher it, Snoqualmie 
waterfall, which was beautiful. Um, we ended up doing, they have like a switchback hike down to the river. You can drive down to the river if you don't want to hike down to the river. We did not. We hiked. And my daughter was not happy about it um, because it was pretty steep coming back up. Um, you do have to pay for parking and you can go down to the river and go in the river and like cool off and still be able to look up and see the waterfall. Super beautiful. Um, and you can also walk down to another lookout point like more level with the bottom of the waterfall. So that was pretty. We ate at the restaurant that's like a restaurant slash hotel that's right over the waterfalls. And we ended up getting to sit um, by the window right by the waterfalls. Very expensive to eat there. I was trying to make sure we got like a breakfast option to hopefully have it be cheaper. It was $145 for the four of us. Super cool experience. They do like... um biscuits and like a honey waterfall onto your biscuits if oh it was so delicious super good i i got a burger i wasn't super impressed by the burger but the biscuits were amazing with the honey um we ended up driving out to discovery park that is a neat park it's like i feel like seattle's like a whole nother world you've got like this bustling city you've got this beach town you've got a shipping yard with these massive shipping crates and then you drive for a half hour and you are in the middle of a forest with monster trees. The trees are so big and they're covered in moss and you're hiking. My daughter was having like twilight vibes because she's reading twilight right now, but we're hiking through. We did the, um, it's just a loop around the discovery park forest and you midday, the trees are so thick. It, feels like twilight like it feels darker because it, the sun's completely blocked out um lots of stairs in the forest which was surprising which wasn't a big deal going down but man was it not fun going back up we just kept finding more and more stairs as we went back up it's about like five miles I feel like to do the full loop um you're walking through this dense forest and all of a sudden you just burst out and you're walking along the side of the beach like on a paved trail and so then you get to go along the beach and go see a beautiful lighthouse i've never seen a lighthouse i've always wanted to um mostly flat except for the stairs on the way back lots of stairs oh my gosh and these i think they're called eagle nests things it's just where you can like kind of climb in and take pictures or have a little picnic it's just like a wooded like a wooded pest i don't know it it's a weird thing like it looks like an eagle's nest made out of two by fours. Um, we ate at Rocco's, which is in the heart of the city. Um, also comes at a premium. Massive pizzas. I guess they're known for their massive pizzas. 60 bucks for one pizza. And I think we finished it. Like my kids were starving after those two hikes. Um, we paid for street parking on that one. It was just like, I don't know. You like park in the road and then go and put your license plate and that sort of thing. Um, we went around eight o'clock on a Saturday and we got right in without reservations, but the people ahead of us did have reservations. So if you're interested in that, I would recommend reservations there. It was a really good pizza, massive 60 bucks for a pizza. Can you tell my kids are a little picky? That's all we were able to eat. Hopefully this helps you. I, I thought it was a great trip. It was a quick one. We flew on on a Thursday. We flew out on a Sunday. We got a lot in and we did the Metallica concert that was at the Lumen Field football stadium. Huge, huge stadium. Such an amazing concert. They they know how to put on a good show. And we, uh, Pantera and, I can't remember the other band. Cause I was in line for a t-shirt. I missed the whole first band. We showed up like an hour early. I do, I will say this, you're better off parking somewhere and walking than trying to get a parking pass to Lumenfield. It was hard to get a parking pass. Hopefully this helps you if you ever decide to go to Seattle. It was, it's a really cool place. I love that it was cooler temperature wise. Um, I know that some people will say, oh, it's a little nerve wracking and scary and that sort of thing. Um, I will say there was a, a significant amount of homeless people walking around, some scantily dressed, not the women. Them in. <laughs> so just prepare yourself if that's something you're concerned about. Um, I never felt like we were in trouble or anything like that. And we got out of the Metallica concert at midnight, but there was hundreds of people in the street and they had the police out as well. 
So I guess the trickiest thing about Seattle is driving those narrow streets with steep hills and trying to find parking. That would be the biggest challenge. And then the other thing is just try and enjoy it. Try and get in as many things as you can just because it's, it is a really neat place to go. Hopefully that helps. Like and subscribe.